more so. Now, 100 would-be sleuths have donned tweed and deer stalkers to try and break the record for the largest number of Sherlock Holmes impersonators in one room. This event, held at the weekend at UCL, was to help raise funds to restore and convert the former home of the fictional detective's creator, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, in Hindhead, Surrey. Gareth Furby investigates. Hidden away on the edge of the Surrey Hills is a crumbling pile with a story to tell. This place is amazing and it's a little spooky. Steve Emex has published many books about Sherlock Holmes, but he's never been inside this house, built by the man whose imagination created the detective until now. Wow, this is fantastic, beautiful. All Sherlock Holmes fans should be able to see this. But the problem is the Surrey home of Arthur Conan Doyle is falling down as a tour with some people who want to save it quickly confirms. One can hardly fail to be moved moving around a building like this because uh, just close your eyes, use your imagination and Conan Doyle is round every corner. This is where he created the Hound of the Baskervilles and he's there in every corridor. The cost of restoration and conversion to a special school is said to be around two and a half million pounds and it just got a step closer. This may have never been seen before. Perhaps the largest gathering of people dressed as Sherlock Holmes, all converging on one lecture theater to try to set a world record for the most Sherlocks in one room. I'm a big Sherlock fan and luckily I've got a son who will join in the adventure. Very excited to be taking part in the Guinness World Record attempt. Because, because it's he's very a interesting, it is a great detective. Yes. Yeah. Elementary Dale Watson. <laughs> they were all counted in and then held in one room for five minutes. We have 113 people um, that have been clicked through on the clickers and that's a fantastic, that's a fantastic achievement. We Several thousand pounds was raised to help restore the Conan Doyle home. And we'll learn later this week if a new world record was set. Gareth Furby, BBC London News.